So one of the easiest ways to help yourself out before even opening up Keyshot is to plan out your renderings. This will save you time and it'll save you the pain of having to iterate within Keyshot, which I think we all know is slow. On the level of the whole set of renderings, you should be trying to communicate your design in five images, really. Five is more of like a guideline than a strict rule, but you know, if you can't communicate your design in five-ish renderings, then you probably need more time to refine your idea, understand it completely, or just, you know, think about your storytelling a little bit better so that you can just absolutely nail it and make it mm, so good and tasty. Within these five renderings, there's three things that you really should be trying to communicate. Number one, your aesthetic. What is your visual design? This is where your hero shots and your renderings that emphasize form and CMF really live. Number two, what is the service that your product provides? This is going to be your functionally focused renderings, things like exploded views, in-use images, detail views of uh, functional parts, you know? And number three, your setting. So what is the environment that this product lives in? Or what is an environment that emphasizes the design or the concept behind your project? Building out a set in Keyshot that is sort of realistic to where you'd see this project in real life or building out a set that sort of uh, emphasizes the mood of your concept if the vibes are the most effective way of communicating your concept. These three things are helpful to keep in mind whenever you're thinking about your renderings. Maybe an acronym or something will help you remember it. On an individual level, it can be helpful to sketch out your render views to plan things like your camera setups, model sets, studios, things like that that are going to come into play much later. And lastly, from the very beginning of your project, you should be mood boarding and thinking about material choices that you're making further down the road so that once you do get into Keyshot, you're not just going to spend hours looking at what your project would look like, say, in full human skin or as a glob of wax. Not that I don't do that anyway, I guess. Hopefully this video has given you some strategies and tools to more effectively move through Keyshot and uh, save you some headaches when you're, you know, working in that last couple days to few hours to minutes before the project is due. I'll be talking about a few other aspects of pre-planning in my video that I'm doing about composition, which I would encourage everybody to check out. Hello, editing GN here. My camera died in the middle of filming the outro, so I am here to pick up the slack. Feel free to contact me or Kyle for additional help on this or any future subjects. And again, I hope this video was helpful. Good luck out there.